Right, hello there. Um, I started videoing this the other day, and then something happened. Uh, I was working on some paint paintwork, and it's taken me about three days to recover, plus the fact that it's rained. Anyway, um, I'm probably covered in black paint. My hands are anyway, so are my arms. But um, painting. Uh, at the moment, I'm painting the sidecar. Uh, working on the bodywork and uh, basically also the fender. Now what I'm going to do in this one, I'm going to show you a technique that I'm using just to give a certain finish to the paint job that I quite like. But anyway, I'll show you the sidecar. There's the sidecar. As you can see, I'm just painting it through there. That's where there was an issue. <laughs> I've now solved that issue. I've already done the wheel and the wheel's back on. I just need to basically soak that down, wash it off and that's done. Um, what's the paint I'm using is Wilkinson's Matte Black Interior and External Wood Metal Paint. It says it's hard wearing but we'll see. Um, and that's what I'm using. So what I'll do is I'll show you the paint effect I'm doing. Um, originally if you look at this, if you can see brush marks on the paintwork. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to eliminate those brush marks. Now I've done a couple of coats of um, matte black already. And it's, also, it's got sort of like matte shine, matte shine. I'm trying to get rid of that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'll go and get my stuff and I'll show you what I mean. Right, what I'm using is one part, no, two parts paint, uh, one part water. Because it's water based, um, you can mix it quite easily. Uh, what I'm also using is basically, I shall show you, is a bowl and a sponge. And I've nearly finished, I'm just using the scrag end of what I've got left in my paint, and that should cover the whole of that. Anyway, uh, what, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. Right, what you do is you basically take your paint, and scrape off, and it's starting to dry out already, and scrape off the excess. And what you do is you basically dab it. Just keep dabbling it, dabbing it, and extending it out as you dab from the centre, and then work your way out. Now, as you go along, you lighten those dabs, quicken them up. And basically, you're trying to get the peaks and troughs of the paint to smooth out. And you can actually get quite a long way from it. It's just from one small light dab with your sponge. And you just keep working at it, keep working at it, and work your way out and across. And you just keep going. Depending on how loaded your brush was or sponge was, this is just ordinary furniture foam. But as you can see, it's starting to give it an orange peel effect. Now, what we're trying to do is trying to get it so it's a smooth orange peel effect as possible, but you don't have the brush strokes. The brush strokes will come through ever so lightly, but that's what sanding back and repainting does for you. I've already sanded this so we don't need to worry so much and you just basically get lighter and lighter and lighter and you can see now the difference is I'm now hardly tapping it so I'm not putting any force into it and you just keep going over and as it dries you get a better and a better effect And it smooths itself out. Now I've been using this same technique on uh, latex weaponry. So I think it, it gives a brilliant burnished effect to a slight metal effect weaponry. Very, very, very. 
very light dabs now. You may say it takes it takes a while. But it is worth the effort to get the effect that you want. No spray cans, use less paint. So what I'll do is we'll leave that for a while. I'll just finish it off, finish it off, and then we'll leave it for a while, and I'll show you what it comes out like. Right, as you can see, as it's drying off, you can see the speckled pattern coming through, and at the same time, you've got the lined pattern from the paintbrushes coming through. So once that's done, once that's done, sand it off, give it another coat. I've got a tree that's blooming shedding, which is annoying, but. Um, Basically, sand it, give it another a load of dabs, and that's a simple technique. Yeah. Then wash and wax it. And that's it, done.